Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Reddy Tech for you. In this video, we are going to discuss about variable definition, rules, declaration, initialization, and scope of variable. So, friends, if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel Arun Reddy Tech for you, and don't forget to like my videos. Coming to the definition of variable, variable is nothing but a name given to a storage area that our program can manipulate. So depends on the variable memory, the size also changes. For example, you can see uh, I have declared a variable uh, syntax data type space variable name. And you can also see an example int a is equal to 50. On the right side, you can see the picture. The picture shows a clear idea. Uh, you can see a storage location 1004. Uh, and uh, we have given a name for the storage is a. See, we cannot assign a 50 value direct to a storage area. So we use a name as a variable. So variable will act as a name of the storage and uh, we can assign with the help of variable. See, you can see a is equal to 50 and uh, the 50 is assigned to the variable. Nice, right? And following are the rules applied for naming variable. First, it should be letters, digits, underscore and uh, it must not contain any special character other than underscore so let us see a small example see uh, s underscore name if i give char s underscore name it will accept but if it will not accept char a at the rate of name and uh, it will accept int r underscore number but it will not accept a dot b so other than underscore no other special characters are accepted by the compiler coming to the next rule it should be either letter or underscore at the starting means it should begin with underscore or letter for example you can see int a the starting letter is a so it will accept but if it number int 3 so number it will not accept it should accept it sorry it will accept either letter or underscore but it will not accept the number uh, you can see another example int m3 it will accept but it will not accept int 1m because again 1 is a starting letter so starting letter if it is a number the compiler will not accept the other rule we have is c is a case sensitive so it will differentiate between uppercase and lowercase it will not consider both as same so a small example is int a i have given a small a and i have assigned five value to small a but uh, on the right side you can see int a and uh, i have assigned five value to capital a the compiler will not accept because it will consider small a different and capital a as a different the other rule we have is keyword cannot be accepted as a naming of variable so you cannot uh, use a 32 keywords which we have in our c language for example care void so care void are uh, keywords uh, it will accept like int roll number it will not accept int care it will accept float percentage but it will not accept int void because void and care are keywords the uh, there is another rule it must not contain white space for example uh, if i give s underscore name it's okay but you cannot give char s space name you can give int r underscore name but you cannot write int r space number so white space is not accepted in c language so next topic is variable declaration or definition so our variables generally declared with the help of data types you can see a small syntax here um, data type space variable 1 comma variable 2 comma variable 3 so on variable n so once you give a data type space variable name it can act uh, you can also declare multiple variables at a time so the only thing is by using comma you can separate different variable uh, you can see a simple example here um, there are generally four types of uh, variable types in our uh, C language. It's a char, int, float, double. Uh, in char, you can see char space a comma b comma c. C. You can declare multiple multiple variables at a time, but you have to use comma to separate each. Okay. So you want if you want to declare a b c, you have to specify a comma in between. So it will soon you can declare a multiple variables by using comma operator. You can also see other examples int i comma j comma l 
and a float p comma q comma r and double x comma y comma z nice right okay uh, next is assigning a value to variable you can assign a value to a variable by using equal to sign generally equal to sign is a assign operator and it is used to assign a value to variable for example you can see a syntax variable name equal to value uh, i have taken a three variable types int char float so you can understand easily so a is equal to 6 and uh, if it is a character a is equal to single quotation in single quotation a and if it is a float a is equal to 5.5 .5. Uh, not only with the equal to symbol you can also assign a value to the variable by using input functions they are un formatted and in unformatted input functions like scanf get char get w and get s with the help of input function also we can assign a value to the variable coming to the scope of variable there are two variables one is a local variable and global variable let us see the difference between a local variable and global variable local variable a variable defined in sign uh, function is known as a local variable local variable also called as atomic variable not sorry atomic variables um, see you can see a syntax here i have specified auto i have given red color it's not mandatory to write auto but you can write auto for a local variable auto space data type space identifier you can also see example auto int a if it doesn't uh, mention auto also it by default it will take as a local variable next global variable for the global variable we have we generally declare outside of the main function and uh, it can be used for uh, all functions like main function and all sub functions example extern is a keyword we use for the global declaration and auto for the local okay so extern space data type identifier identifier and variable are both are same don't get confused okay so extern int a uh, this is how we declare a variable global variable okay so let us see a small example so you can understand easily what is global variable and local variable uh, you can see the global variable i have declared int g is equal to 10 and the white color part white color part is a example of how a global variable is so it global variable will cover all the white part and a, a light pink you can see it's, I have declared a local variable int L so L I have declared and uh, L is equal to 5 and L will start and end within the pink color so it cannot be applied outside the pink color for example if I take uh, printf local variable is equal to percentile D comma L it will not print because the variable which we have declared is local variable and it will start within the bracket and ends within the brackets that's why i have given separate colors for the local variable and global variable but coming to the global variable once you have declared uh, j is equal to sorry into j g is equal to 10 what happens means see you can see local variable is equal to percentile d and global variable is equal to percentile d you can see the output local variable is equal to 5 see i have taken l is equal 5 see i didn't mention any global variable here still it is giving output as global variable is equal to 10 because once i have declared above the main it's which is global uh, global declaration place if i declare once int j g is equal to 11 sorry 10 automatically this value will affect main function and sub functions which are below the main function you can see the white space uh, is the area where global variable covers and the pink space is a scope of the local variable so you can also see it is uh, also printing global variable is equal to percentile d g so it will also print output as global variable is equal to 10 Be uh, see you, i didn't declared anywhere int g but it is giving the output as 10 because i have once declared above the void main and uh, the same will affect the main function and sub functions so friends keep practicing thank you